Hi, I'm Cindy Lim, International Tax Partner at RSM. As you go overseas, you obviously will be dealing with customers in different countries. There is always this question of, am I trading in a foreign country or am I trading with a foreign country? In a nutshell, trading in a foreign country creates tax exposure, but not trading with. The strategy, therefore, is to minimize revenue generating activities to avoid being regarded as trading in that foreign country. And typically, functional test is applied for online trading conducted by businesses. Avoid, for instance, price negotiation, concluding or signing contracts with customers in that foreign country. From a tax perspective, there is no real need to set up a separate entity if your entire sales team involved on online trading activities is based in Singapore. For profits derived from online trading activities will be pulled back to Singapore to be taxed here. But from a commercial risk perspective, a separate entity may be desired or preferred. You may not be aware but there may be foreign tax risk involved as service could potentially be regarded as tax presence in a foreign country. However, if it is the mere presence of service in a foreign location without any associated activities in that foreign country, tax risk will be very much reduced. It is understandable that in businesses, you need to maintain a certain level of stock inventory in a foreign location for fast delivery to customers. But what you may not know is that the maintenance of a stock of goods, out of which customers' orders are regularly fulfilled, may create tax issues in foreign countries. That said, the Double Tax Treaty Singapore concluded with any particular foreign country could be looked at in detail to see how best you could scale back your activities in order to eliminate tax risk. There may be occasions when you need to have on-ground employees overseas to carry out certain functions, such as logistic services or installation work in order to complete this whole process or cycle of customer orders. Yes, there could be foreign tax exposure, especially if he is stationed there on a long-term basis. However, with some tax planning and minimizing activities to be conducted by the on-ground employees may limit your tax risk. Think about the employees as well. You may want to limit his number of days spent in a foreign country in order to avoid personal income tax exposure in that foreign country. As you all know, the Singapore government is very supportive of businesses expanding overseas. The support could be in the areas of cash grants, double tax deductions, or enhanced deductions for certain qualifying expenditure incurred. However, the eligibility of such assistance is evaluated based on the merits of each applicant and subject to meeting stipulated conditions. Such application, if contemplated, must be made before rather than after the event.